Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing another new movie review this week. It's called Girls Gone Dead, which is basically a parody of Girls Gone Wild mixed in with the horror and comedy. It stars Katie Peterson, Shea Stewart, Brandi Whitford, Callie Hayes, Ryan Keeley, Krishna Asler, Brewster Phoenix Sampson, David Arson, and Judy Kendall, with special appearances by Jerry Lawler, Ron Jeremy, Beetlejuice, not to be confused with the movie character from Tim Burton, and Chauncey Phillips. And it was directed by Michael A. Hoffman Jr. As the film begins, Rebecca is spending her first spring break home from college with her old high school cheerleading friends. As luck would have it, the group of six sexy girls have been granted the usual age of a rental property in the Florida coastal town of Nanny Creek. However, they soon find their vacation that may have been anything but just down the road in Daytona Beach, Crazy Girls Unlimited a company famous for its drunken topless DVD releases, sort of like the Girls Gone Wild videos that you often see, has been throwing an event of their latest video series. However, the, shoot ended, the shooting ended earlier when a killer, complete with a medieval weaponry, to show up to end the festivities, unaware of what has transpired at a crazy girl's party. Rebecca and her friends decided to throw a spring break free for all, but the girls get more than what they bargained for when one by one the party goers disappear. It seems an invited stranger has been literally cutting through the guest list straight from the party in Daytona Beach. Now, seeing that this is a B horror film, very low budget, but it's very fun. To, to sit through. This is sort of like something you watch late at night, like at about 2 a.m. in the morning when you have nothing else to do and spend your time just watching mostly uh, scantily clad girls taking their tops off or, or they wind up getting naked uh, all around. Mix it with the edge of almost so many horror movie cliches throw into it but it's also a comedy as well. Uh, Sean C. Phillips, of course, has a cameo appearance in this movie. Um, well, he's actually playing a character. Well, you know what happens to him in the movie, so I don't want to give that away. <laughs> but it happened. But it was good to see some cameos as well, such as Jerry Lawler, uh, a former WWF wrestler who eventually became an announcer later on in his career. Of course, you probably know he's famous for that bit, bit with Andy Kaufman, where they're both challenging for a wrestling match, since he only wrestles women. Yeah, yeah, I remember that bit. Now, there is another person by the name of Beetlejuice who... Now, I know I'm very familiar with the name Beetlejuice from, from Tim Burton and everything, but this is basically another character on that must have got the name out of the, the Tim Burton but it's not to be confused with that surprisingly but he was actually pretty good in this um, he had some of the material that he was bound for so I, I, I don't know but it wasn't exactly that I had in mind so I probably don't know anything about this actor but it's new to me so but I'm sure a lot of people knew who he is the rest of the characters well yeah, they're pretty much standard movie characters that you often see. They're actually very good actors. Some are. But it's pretty much what you expect. It's a it's a horror, sexy comedy. Makes sense to it. And I don't know, it's pretty fun to watch. So I'll give Girls Gone Dead three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora and I'll see you later. Bye.